Hi everyone, I'm Diego and this is Warsaw Calling and I'm here today with Ochman. Ochman, welcome. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. How are you doing? Uh, as always, uh, normal. I feel good. Uh, the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> it's less than 50 days now to Eurovision. How is everything getting ready to your performance in Turin in May? Uh, slowly but surely. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, there isn't a lot of time left, but uh, definitely we have a lot of plans uh, already for, for Turin. Um, practicing the song as, as often as I can uh, to, I guess, perfect some spots and, you know, so the energy doesn't die out towards the end uh, of the song. Uh, and how it's going to look on stage, uh, you know, I'm not going to expose what, uh, what, we, what we got going on there, but, uh, but it's definitely going to be a bigger show than we had uh, at the pre-selections. You're coming from a background of musical in your family. You're the voice Poland winner from 2020. And of course, Poland hasn't qualified since 2017 to the final of Eurovision. Do you feel kind of nervous? Do you have a lot of pressure for? Um, I don't necessarily feel uh, really any pressure from the fact that uh, you know Poland hasn't really qualified since uh, 2017. Um, uh, it's a new year, and uh, and it's you know uh, my turn to show something. And every year, uh, every country has something different to offer. So uh, I feel like uh, we'll see it just uh, just how it goes. I feel more like this pressure from um, not only presenting myself the best in the best light on stage, but uh, but also representing my country. Uh, there's uh, this added pressure towards mm -hmm. that, uh, and I feel like uh, every um, everybody who's who's taking part in this, uh, who's representing their their country, is going to feel that at least to a certain extent. River is a powerful ballad. Some people um, call this ballad like Slavic melancholy. What is the meaning of river? Uh, well, the meaning, well, it's uh, basically, obviously, a lot of stuff is going on. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, it sounds very, uh, you know, generalized, but a lot of stuff is going around, right? Uh, a lot of bad things, I guess, whatever demons that we have in our heads, but uh, uh, to say it more punctually, it has to do with um, the fact that, you know, we stress out about things that haven't even occurred, like, for example, I'm talking more specifically about our futures. Uh, we try to plan something out that hasn't even occurred yet, and that uh, brings us a lot of stress, and the uh, song's are basically about uh, getting to this point of uh, inner peace and letting go for, for at least... Uh, at least a hot second, just to uh, get away from all that noise. This year's Eurovision slogan is the sound of beauty. What does the sound of beauty mean to you? Well, the sound of beauty, I mean, uh, I guess that differs from person to person. Uh, whatever type of music or song uh, it speaks to them the most on an emotional or psychological level. Um, but that could also, you know, be a sound that brings you this peace, right? Uh, like waves crashing or or the wind, so, um, you know, whatever speaks to you the most right now uh, would probably be the sound of beauty. I know we can't talk much about your performance in Turin, but we know, because it's, it's already public, that you're going to work with two stage directors in Turin. One of them has worked with Poland since 2014, 2015 and 2021, and the other one is uh, one of the organizers of uh, the indep independence uh, concert in 2020. Um, what are you, what are you uh, working on for that staging in in Turin in May? Um, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to say yes. uh, too much. But we have, we have plans. It's definitely gonna um, be a bigger show than uh, the way it looked at uh, the pre-selections. You are also going on tour with the Eurovision pre-parties, yes. and the next one or the. Well, I'm, quickest I'm, one. I'm currently going on my first one. So, exactly. Uh, yeah. So you're going to London. Yes. Because you're going to London, you're going to meet other Eurovision contenders for this year. Have you already get the chance to hear other songs? And are you excited to meet some of them? Uh, well, yes. Uh, obviously, I've, I've listened to, I'd say, uh, 95% of them. Uh, as in, like, I've listened to all of them, but I'd like to uh, listen to them again so I can remember every single one. Um, but, you know, the... 
every country has so much to offer. It's uh, it's really different, you know. It, it differentiates uh, from country to country what they have to offer. But I think these pre parties are like uh, an excellent way for me to uh, you know get to know some of them. Uh, a lot of them actually have. Uh, I've listened to uh, some of the songs more than once. Like I have them saved on my playlist. Uh, well, one of which is uh, "Brividi" from uh, Italy. I, I love that song. I listened to it many times. Uh, Sheldon Riley's uh, an amazing singer, and uh, his song "Not the Same" is uh, is absolutely it's amazing. It's phenomenal. Um, I really like. Uh, well, uh, I don't think they're going to be in London, but um, Mahmoud and uh, Blanco, right? Yes. Um, Brividi is uh, is. I mean, I've listened to that song, uh, you know, maybe not over a hundred times, but definitely, definitely a bunch of times. Uh, I got it saved in my playlist, so uh, no, I can't wait. I can't wait. And you get, you, you have to get used to. It, I have to tell you because in Italy, you listen to that song on the radio every single minute. It's on the radio. Yes. Like, oh, yeah. Every time. So. I'm not surprised. I mean, it's really good. I don't know. Uh, do a lot of people in Italy uh, listen to radio oh, still? They they yeah. always listen to the song. And believe me, you see the people in the coffee shop singing it. <laughs> I love the song. I love the song. That's great. That's great. Ochman, please send a message to all the Eurovision fans through the screen of Weber Blocks, please. Well, um... I hope to make you guys proud and uh, Turin in May. Um, I'm going to do the best that I can, uh, you know, sing to the best of my ability and present myself in the best possible light for you guys. And yeah, that's it. I hope you guys have a good day, good week, good month, good year. Uh, and I'm sending much love. Thank you very much, Ochman, and uh, see you next time. See you.